I guess I was sort of in a middle ground between sort of being self-taught and not having industry level experience. And so I saw it as sort of like a springboard into the industry, almost like a fast track, I suppose. Um, I'm originally from Perth in Western Australia. So, um, you know, the sort of hub of the film industry is here. So I didn't have any sort of connections or anything like that in Sydney. So I applied at afters because I thought that that would also be a huge benefit of it. So before I came to afters, I did an undergraduate degree, which was in media arts. And it was quite broad in the fact that I was doing graphic design, animation, both 2D and 3D, as well as documentary and narrative, like video content. And so I wanted to kind of focus more into editing by itself. So that's why I decided to look into afters and come here. So the facilities are amazing. Each editing student gets their own edit suite, which was quite amazing because you can go in there and just spend your whole time editing all day if you want, or you can come in and out different times, which I love. And then we also do have the computer labs, which is where we learn um, Avid, which is um, the program that I also came here to learn. They sort of lay out a lot of the material that you'll be learning, but then they ask you what you want to get out of it and what you expect to learn, which is, um, really great. So between the other editing students and myself, we sort of agreed certain skills that we thought would be more beneficial or certain things that we wanted to focus on more and they catered to that. Yeah, I find that balancing the practical with the theory was kind of easy in a way because it's practice-based research. And so I picked something that I found interesting to look into, which was um, graphics on screen and how they interact with the video. So I found that through Finding something that I could do that was more practical and learning more while I was here to learn um, allowed me to find some research that was interesting so I could do it while I was doing the practical at the same time. We sort of learnt to um, provide constructive criticism, I suppose, and be critical without necessarily being cynical, which is um, a really important skill to learn, to sort of be able to give and receive feedback in that way and not take it too personally, especially when you're dealing with creative work. Sometimes it can be a sensitive area to navigate. The biggest challenge that I faced was just a potential burnout um, because you are here um, and you're giving so much to what you're doing but you do that because you love it um, and so when you're met with feedback that doesn't necessarily match what you think it's going to be it can be quite a reality check really. Roland Philippa and Milena are all amazing. They literally got me through these past two years. Roland really has all like the theory work down and makes sure that he's always coming in and visiting and making sure, making sure we're doing all right and that our cut, cuts look great. And um, Milena was the one that taught us Avid and really um, would always be there if we had any questions about how the program was not working for us, even though it was our fault, but we learned through that. And um, Philip is just a great helping hand always around. Yeah, it was especially coming um, from interstate and moving here, it was sort of a big gamble and I sort of confined in that to Roland to begin with, that it was a big sort of step that I was taking and he was really encouraging and supportive uh, and has been the entire way. So it's a huge um, advantage to have, to have someone who is so well established and respected in the industry that you're trying to get into to have their support and to have their sort of world experience helping guide you and shape you. I guess they really focus on building you up as a storyteller um, rather than sort of like a technical editor, even though those skills are still there. It's uh, the focus is really on building up your own creative voice so that you can enter the sort of film industry with a relatively refined um, sort of personal brand and, and sort of creative skills. One thing that was really cool was um, we had a couple lectures from this one um, editor, Martin Connor. We had one in person and then one online on Zoom when, when we went into COVID times. And then I managed to, after I finished my master's, work with him on a film. So that was really cool that he knew me beforehand and he um, really liked my work with him. So it was really good. Not only are you going to come out of the course 
with the skills to work as an editor, but you're going to come out with the backing of afters behind you and a body of, you know, professional level work behind you. Um, you're going to come out of the course with connections, not only with the students that you attend the master's course with, but with all the other mentors that you meet here at afters. Yeah, I really do think that um, with Roland's help, I did find like my style and my type of cut and what I've come out with for my portfolio through my projects that I did in my final year are really good and show what I can do.